This one is a patron vote winner. The theme was Obsession, and that's really interesting because I always thought this was a love song until I did some research. Spoiler, it's not. That guitar riff is so iconic. was an excellent high note. He's making it as smooth as he possibly can instead of defining each of those letters. Every move you make. He's making sure that his tone and his vocal tract stays in the same position. And those consonants do obstruct your breath flow. It does change the shape of your vocal tract. So often with people, I'll get people to keep their consonants right to the end of a note. But in this case, he's just making them really smoochy so that his vocal tracks can stay the same shape and that airflow just continues all the way through without too much obstruction. Now this comes at the cost of losing some of your diction. That's up to you. Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a look at his vowel shape on C. See how he's dropping his jaw on C? It's fantastic. Great shape. They're so good. So he starts off a little bit heavier, but he allows it to go a little bit more into mix, adds a little bit of twang as he gets higher up. And that stops him from having to tense up and squeeze and drive up to that note. It's all about releasing into that note rather than pushing into that note. It's so good. A little bit heavier and then release. has this in all the romantic movies probably all the weddings that this has been played at what was the inspiration to escape the public eye sting had retreated off to the caribbean to the golden eye estate in jamaica and he actually sat down and started writing on ian fleming's writing desk he woke up in the middle of the night and had the first line in his head and he just started writing he said in a quote I think I was thinking of Big Brother, surveillance and control. And when he was asked why he seemed so angry in the music video, Sting said, I think the song is very, very sinister and ugly and people have actually misinterpreted it as being a gentle little love song when it's quite the opposite. <laughs>
Maybe that's why he smishes the lyrics. <laughs> Nowadays. takes on a new meaning when you have the context, right? And I think that bouncy guitar line, that iconic backbone of the song, kind of has a joyfulness to it, but that's why it's so clever as well. It's like, oh, we're watching you, but we're making you think that it's okay. We're making you think that you're having a good time. Uh. Lovely head bumps. Why does music feel so good? I've read a couple of studies on this. One of the things is that we have mirror neurons in our brains. When we're watching people as an audience, we are mirroring their emotions in our body. So I'm assuming Sting is having a really good time and that's making me feel like I'm having a really good time watching him because the mirror neurons in my brain are like, Hoo -hoo, even though that might not have been the meaning initially. But also I read a study on heart rate variability and heart rate variability is really important because it shows how our nervous system is working. We have two parts to the nervous system. We have the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system, I always remember, it's not very sympathetic. It it's your fight or flight mode and your parasympathetic is the rest and relax mode. So to simplify completely, the higher our heart rate variability, the more variable our heart rate is, the more these are balancing out and we're in a lovely balanced state. Now in the study they got 13 different pianists to play music both expressively and non-expressively and then listen to music expressively and then non-expressively and then they measured that heart rate variability. And it went exactly as expected. All of them shows to increase heart rate variability and therefore nervous system activation. There was the non-expressive listening at the bottom and the highly expressive playing at the top. It really got your nervous system involved. So listening to music and singing along actually is just really good for us. <laughs> Nice run. dancing with me even though it has a creepy sinister meaning I'm feeling the band's good vibes I loved how there was a little crack there and it's been left in and Sting just went Hoo. And that's really important to note that even these great singers, right? We all crack, sometimes these things happen and it's fine. <laughs> One 
my silky, silky voice. Before you go, I have just released my very own album, Fable. I would love if you could check it out. There are a few songs available here on YouTube and on Spotify. The whole album is available on Bandcamp and on my website, bethroars.com. And I'm really proud of it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.